Sister Antonia Ebo, who fought for civil rights in Selma, Alabama, was one of the first African-American women to join what was then the Sisters of St. Mary and is now known as the Franciscan Sisters of Mary of Maryville, Missouri. Sister Antona died on November 11, 2017, at the age of 93. Sister Antona was a civil rights leader and hospital administrator during her life as a Franciscan nun and was honored at the Missouri History Museum for her civil rights activism. She and more than 50 St. Louisans flew to Selma, Alabama three days after the infamous Bloody Sunday when civil rights marchers were attacked on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Her presence there drew much attention as an African-American Catholic nun in full habit. Born on April 10, 1924, as the third child of Daniel and Louise Teal Ebo, she was known as Betty in her youth. At the age of four years, her mother died suddenly during pregnancy at the young age of 29. During the following two years, in the height of the Great Depression, her father lost his job and home. At the age of six, Betty and her two siblings were placed in the McLean County Home for Colored Children in Bloomington, Illinois, where she lived from 1930 to 1942. She was baptized a Catholic on December 19, 1942. Betty was determined to attend a Catholic nursing school, but faced numerous rejections because of her race. She learned of St. Mary's School of Nursing and enrolled there, and enrolled there in 1944. On July 26, 1946, she became one of the first of three African American women to enter the Sisters of St. Mary. She received the name Sister Mary Antona and professed, professed her following vows on February 11, 1954. Sister Antona received, served proudly as a Franciscan Sister of Mary for 71 years. Sister earned a bachelor's degree in medical records in 1962 a master's degree in hospital executive development in 1970 from St. Louis University, and a master's degree in theology of health care through Aquinas Institute, and was certified as a chaplain through the National Association of Catholic Chaplains. St. Louis Archbishop Robert Carlson said in a statement, We will miss her living example of working for justice in the text and in the context of our Catholic faith. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your gift of Sister Antona Ebo. Help us to follow her example of love and strength in her pursuit of justice and civil rights for all people. Give us the courage to always stand up for what is just for all people. Enlighten those whose eyes do not see the injustice incurred on their fellow humans. We ask this through your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.